This is Mary Jo, and welcome to my kitchen. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving, and part of our Thanksgiving feast are soups. So I have two types of soups that I've prepared, and I want to show you how to do them. Now, you can make these soups for every day, but it's uh, extra special when we do it for Thanksgiving. So what we've done is I have all the ingredients. We're going to be making a vegetable soup and a chicken soup. So let's start with the vegetable soup. What I do is I take a, a large pot, as big as I can find, and I start with two tablespoons of olive oil. And to the olive oil, I add onions. These are, these are diced onions. And you want to um, brown them and uh, you don't want to do it too much, you don't want them to burn, so it probably takes about five, six, seven minutes for them to get a nice golden coat on them and um, in the olive oil, so that really works out very well. Now, after that, what we do is, since this is vegetable, um, we need the ingredients to really give us the flavor. We are going to be adding some spices to it, but we do need to have the ingredients. So to that, what I do is I add some sweet potatoes. I dice these up and I add these to them. You can add probably about half a cup or so. Now the onions, I've added one large onion that I've diced and I've added them. So they're already cooking and I would add the sweet potatoes to them. I'm going to add some peppers. I'm going to add some celery. And I'm going to let that um, cook and really brown everything and so now what's happening is it's starting to really get a lot of flavors and to that I'm going to start adding a little bit of water so I'll take about a cup of water and I'll add that to it and I'll let that cook down a little bit because that's where really where the flavors are going to be so go ahead and do that to that once that you let that do that I would cook that for about let's say 10-15 minutes to really get that flavor. I'm going to add some tomatoes. Now I like to use my own fresh tomatoes, dice them up and use them. And of course I've taken out as many seeds as I can with the, with the tomatoes. So let that cook again. Add another cup of water. Again it depends on how much you're making. But go ahead and add some more water and let that cook for another maybe 10-15 or 15 minutes. To that I'm going to add more vegetables. Now I have carrots, I have Italian green beans, I have spinach, and I'm really starting to make the soup at this point. And you can add anything that you want, broccoli, cauliflower, it's a vegetable soup, so it's really up to you what you want to do. Now once you've added that, um, go ahead and add some more water, then I would add my spices. Now I've added thyme, I've added basil, I do add some pepper to that. And then what I do after that is I let it cook for probably another 10 minutes. And you just got to watch it. While you're in the, in the kitchen doing something else, just let that cook. Put that on about, on about, um, on about medium heat. So it's a, a very starting to have a very slow boil. You don't want to make it too high. You don't want to burn anything. And then once I do that, then I'm going to fill up the pot to almost to the top, just about to the top and let that start to have a slow boil also. Now what I like to do is for my soup is I like to add something that it's a little bit meaty in there and uh, white lima beans are great with that. You can also add uh, kidney beans to this, you can add any other kind of beans and I would probably add for a pot of soup probably about a half to uh, a cup of um, beans. I like the lima beans, it's a nice chewy um, taste when they're in there. To that I also add rice. Now I have brown rice that I use. I'm probably going to have about um, a half to three quarters of a cup of brown rice. Go ahead if you have dietary needs, if you have um, different issues, go ahead and use the white rice. If you're not going to use the, ri rice, uh, the rice, then that's fine too. That's not a problem. So I'm going to add all that together and then you really need to let this cook for, I let it cook for about 40 minutes and that's where all the flavors really come come in and it really does um, get together and and produces a wonderful and delicious vegetable soup. Now as far as the flavors the spices are concerned you should be tasting the soup periodically and determine if you need more, if you need different spices 
and that's really going to be up to you. And that's also with the vegetables too. You can add as little or as uh, least vegetables that you want, and that's really up to you. So I've used my actually my grandmother's pot, and I put everything in, and this is what I've gotten. And it really does look fabulous. It's just a wonderful consistency, and uh, look at that. And that's with rice, and that's with all those vegetables, and there's the lima beans. So let's put some out. There's carrots, and you can really make this your own. And there's spinach, so this is wonderful for Thanksgiving. And what I do is, I usually do this not the day of Thanksgiving, usually earlier than Thanksgiving, and um, I freeze it. And then what I also like to do is I like to freeze small containers of this, and it's very easy. If we're having lunch or whatever else we're having, it's much simpler to do it that way. But this is the vegetable soup, and it's, it's really delicious and it's really fabulous. And the 